Russians resort to alternatives for reconnaissance following A-50 aircraft loss. In the south of Ukraine, there is an extremely high activity of Russian reconnaissance drones. They are collecting information along the contact line and in the depths of the region, according to Natalia Humeniuk, head of the Joint Coordination Press Center of the Southern Defense Forces of Ukraine. According to Humeniuk, this was caused by the downing of a Russian A-50 long-range radar detection aircraft. They are now trying to replace the A-50, which was shot down, unplanned by the Russians. Now the activity of enemy reconnaissance drones is extremely high in our area of responsibility, she said. In particular, Humeniuk says that over a hundred drones of this type were spotted along the contact line and in deeper regions over the past day. They are trying to collect the information that the A-50 can no longer transmit. And that is why we see the non-specific activity of tactical aviation, which is more distant in the Black Sea, also concentrating its efforts on collecting relevant operational data, emphasizes the head of the Joint Coordination Press Center of the Southern Defense Forces of Ukraine. Recall that on February the 23rd, the Ukrainian Defense Forces reported that a Russian A-50 aircraft was shot down over the Sea of Azov. It is worth adding that this is the second A-50 to be destroyed by our soldiers since the beginning of the full-scale war. Later, the intelligence service clarified that the A-50U is a new, modernized version of the aircraft and its cost is about $350 million. India urges Russia to release its citizens serving in support jobs in army. India has requested the early release of some of its citizens working with the Russian army in support jobs, according to the Ministry of External Affairs of India. The statement from the Indian Ministry of External Affairs came after a local newspaper reported that last year about 100 Indians were employed under contracts for a term of no less than a year. Citizens from many countries sought employment in the Russian army, including from the neighboring Nepal. We are aware that a few Indian nationals have signed up for support jobs with the Russian army, the statement said. Diplomats also indicated that the Indian embassy regularly discussed this issue with the relevant Russian authorities for their early release. We urge all Indian nationals to exercise due caution and stay away from this conflict, diplomats added. As previously reported, Russian forces are experiencing a shortage of military personnel to fill combat losses, so they are trying to recruit foreign volunteers for service. In particular, the Russian state has been recruiting citizens of Cuba for the war in Ukraine. The latter were promised high salaries, bonuses and vacations. Also in early January, Nepal stopped issuing permits to its citizens to work in Russia and Ukraine. At least 10 Nepalese soldiers were killed while serving in the Russian army. Russia has created Special Unit Union to involve athletes in war against Ukraine. Russia has created a new special unit of athletes to participate in the war against Ukraine. It is sponsored by Russian state-owned companies. This was reported by the National Resistance Center of Ukraine. At the initiative of the first deputy head of the Russian presidential administration, Sergei Kiryenko, the union detachment was created. It included participants in sports competitions, in particular martial arts tournaments, the statement said. It is noted that the sponsors are Rosatom, Seberbank, and other Russian state-owned companies. During the war, they spent tens of millions of rubles on the purchase of weapons and optical equipment for the Russians. The National Resistance Center added that the Russian Special Forces University, located in Chechnya, is responsible for training the Union members. Russia is actively using sports to promote its invasive policy. For example, Russian athletes openly support the war against Ukraine. They participate in propaganda events, deliver speeches justifying the armed aggression of the Russian Federation, and they even receive military ranks. While athletes from the Russian Federation support the war, Ukrainians defend their homeland with weapons in their hands and fall victim to Russian shelling.